everybody here today is, is starting out and it's, it's good to hear what an actor's philosophy is, what their approach to acting is. What would you say your philosophy was? Um, be believable. Don't, mm -hmm. don't act, be. Don't, um, if, if, you, if, I, if I believe what I'm doing, then no one can doubt it. If I really believe, and um, so that, that, that is, you know, yeah. the, way, the whole approach to my work is I, I, believe, I believe who I am and, and what I'm saying. It's interesting because we've spent a lot of time over the last day and a half actually discussing this and, and watching it in action because I think that when initially people start acting, yeah. it's getting away from that concept and I think particularly on, on, uh, on film of not acting, of, of yeah, really, you know, bringing yeah. everything that you are to it yeah. um, and making that distinction. So do you, when you, do you remember a particular point perhaps that you began to see your acting shift, I guess, from when you started out to becoming a professional and, and seeing that difference between, um, you know, coming into it and initially acting and then mm. transitioning into to being, if you like? Oh, well, I think for a start, theatre and TV and film are very, very different. So. Yeah. Probably on stage, everything has to be larger because it obviously has to go further and everybody has yeah. to buy what you're doing. But I suppose um, in, in TV, if you think it, it will, it will mm. be there. You don't have to demonstrate it. Think it and it's there. And just trust that. Don't doubt yourself that you have to go, ooh. You know, just... <laughs> I, I, yeah. if, if you're asking a question, if you believe it, then it will be relayed. And I suppose, honestly, it's sort of an internal journey, really. It's, it's, it's a maturing and a trusting, a trusting of that, mm. a confidence to trust that. You, you don't have to, to act. To indicate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, don't indicate it. I, yeah. I think that, that you're right, it, trusting that yeah. it takes it as a big part of the process, because I think initially um, it's hard um, for for actors or actors in training to trust the fact that mere thoughts get picked yeah. up rather than just having to. And it's also it. what I would say is it's not so it, if it's it's who you are and where you're coming from and what you're not saying mm. as the person. Yeah. It's don't. It's not looking at the script and saying oh I've got to say that and then I've got to say that and then it's only when you're saying something that you. It's all of the bits, everything that is behind that, in between that, and and and. Who that person is, not what they're saying necessarily. Yeah, which actually brings me to the next question. So, how, how do you create character? What is? Do you have a particular process that you go through when you pick up a new character? Well, when I when I read a script, I'll know I'll know if that person speaks to me or not. I always have to like the person I'm playing. Mm -hmm. I have to like them because if I Hermione am judging the character I'm playing, mm. it's really uncomfortable. <laughs> So really it's about self-awareness and awareness of other people, who they are, where they come from, why they behave the way they behave, even if they're complete shits or quite dark people. It's, it's what, has made, what has made them mm. behave in that way. Why do they relate to people, respond to situations like that? Mm. And really being compassionate and understanding completely who you are and where you're coming from and what you and where you're going to in a scene. So, yeah. I, I guess you, you to do this job, you need to be really interested in people. Yes. So fascinated by yeah. people and who they are. And, and yeah. do you spend much time like observing people as well and their behaviour yes, away I from love, the script? I love. I am fascinated by and love people and fascinated in in who they are and how they think. And it's also that thing I think as a as a person. Arrogantly, you're, you're the centre of your own universe, so you presume mm. that somebody else sort of thinks and has the same outlook as you do, maybe. Yeah. And actually, nobody has nobody has your life experience. Nobody sees things how you do. And what has you know? And, and that's what I love. Why you know? Mm. Wow, man, you think that? <laughs> yeah. So it's a weird sort of process in a way um, to create believable acting, isn't it? Because you, you have to, you're transitioning to this other person, get into their world, but you also have to bring who you are and, yeah. and, and make it real and believable. Mm. Um, but I think it's, a, it's an interesting process bringing mm. those two things together. Mm. Um, Drawing on your own, your own toolkit, if you like, yeah. your own frame of rest reference yeah. emotionally. And, so yeah. when, you, when you go into rehearsals, when you start to work on a scene, 
Um, how do you, what, what's your kind of process? How do you like to work with actors in a scene? Well, always before I, you don't really get much time to rehearse, to no. be honest, in TV. You're just there and it's kind of like run it, block it, and then yeah. you're doing it. So always I would say really know your line, really know the lines, really know who you are, where you're coming from, what you, you know, so really be prepared in that regard. And then what I love is showing up and therefore you're completely available to what's, because it's not what you're doing, it's what you and another person are creating. Yeah. So it's not about it's not about you. Once you know, once once I know the lines and I and I'm kind of so it's about what the other person is bringing to the table and how how you work together, which is where the magic happens, I think. Yeah. And where the where the where the magic of it happens because it's kind of like you just don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Sometimes I think, oh man, this <laughs> is, you know, how is this going to work? Yeah. This is really difficult. Or and again, it's just having the confidence to trust that it's going to happen, it's got, it's got to happen, it's got to be committed to, to, to film, you know, yeah. and, it's, and that's where, it's, it's, that's, that's what's amazing about it. Because I think as well is that when people come to acting for the first time, it's this idea again of, of playing a character and then coming into a scene and thinking that you have to be thinking what, who the character is and yeah. their background and where they've came from. Um, would you agree to a certain extent when you, I think you've kind of just said it really, but when you come into the scene and you start to involve another actor, it, it kind of, all of that, you kind of just have to leave to yes, your unconscious and it's mm. it just, you have to be in the moment with yes. that individual. The more in the moment that you can be, the less self-conscious, the more absolutely in the moment and engaged with the other person. Because also when you're on set, it's like now, you know, there's this many people around, more, and. And, and if you were thinking, oh, you know, what's, um, what that you have to be completely engaged in, in, in who you are. So I would be mm. focusing on everything about you. I wouldn't even, none of anything else features. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of, um, which takes an immense amount of concentration as well. To be, would you say to be able to? Did you oh, find it? <laughs> did you find that it took a while to kind of get used to that environment of people being around, but you still had to be that sort no. of focus that it happened no. quite naturally? Naturally. Oh, and, 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 yeah, because that's, because uh, everyone's got, I mean, there's so much going on as well. Everyone's got a job, everyone has got a job to do. Everybody there will have a, their own job to do. And, and, and our job is to, that's our job. And also with a lot, you know, often, everything is so quick now they'll have spent hours setting up and then it's right come on come on come on come on we're losing the light you've got you've got two minutes seriously that and and it'll be the, the meat it'll be the meat of the whole piece come on come on come on everybody everyone's shouting and then you've got to be in the moment at that Moment. Yeah, it's funny because I often explain this to people when they start now that when they go into a, a filming situation, that almost it can feel like as an actor you're you're the cherry on top. Oh yeah, yeah, you're there's just insignificant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's almost like sometimes on. think why why did you bother building a set really? <laughs> Seriously, yeah. it's so quick now. Yeah. yeah. So brings us to the the interesting question of of auditions. Auditions. Yeah. So what have you learned over the years about auditions? <laughs> They're awful. Um, I think, you know, it, it, it is, you know, I would say if you're going up, if you're going to meet someone, if you're going for an audition, be as prepared as you, step one, be as prepared as you possibly can. Try and be off the book so that if the director asks you to do it in a certain way, you know you're you're already willing and able to play but and also so you can so you can engage and and not be kind of script bound yeah um and and i would say don't try and be confident be who you are mm -hmm. don't try and put on a front be who you are it'd be nervous if you are nervous but the 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 important thing is 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 the is the work yeah and do you think that um what would you say about being redirected as well? Because we've been talking about this o over the last few days as well, is that when you go into auditions, or even when you're working with a director, um, they may even, in an audition, test out the fact that you can take direction. Yeah, yeah they yeah. will usually will. 
<laughs> so how important do you think it is for to be able to deliver that redirection? And Just tell them now, so I'm not doing it like that. <laughs> 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 I don't agree with you. No, sorry, that was very facetious. Well, it, it, you, I mean, that's that is the fun of the job as well. Is um, is is being able to go on, on any direction that somebody wants you to go, mm. and just be willing and open and not frightened of it, and try because often it's sort of something that you wouldn't think to do. Will you know? It's amazing how if you play a scene differently, how many which ways it can go, where it can take you. I think that's important as well because uh, you're, I totally agree with that. There's so many different ways yeah. a scene can be played, yeah. and I think that sometimes if you go into a scene and think, look, there's and unconsciously you think there's only one or two ways to do it. It's, it's kind of trying to yeah. open it up to many different That's ways. That's the thing I would say as well, you know, if you learn all of your lines and everything, don't bring any expectations to the table or to, you know, if you're, if you're going on a set or if you're going into, just be as prepared as you can, but be as open as you possibly can because it'll never be, and the other actor you're working with will never, you know, if you're at home practicing, or you know, going over your lines or whatever, and think well, it'll. No one's ever going to do it. How they'll say, "Well, you can do it like that." <laughs> you know, it'll never be yeah. how you think it is. Yeah, because um, and recently I, I bumped into a few casting directors. Uh, it's interesting what you say about preparation as well and trying to be off the book. Because um, they recently, I've heard that the, the, they've had quite a few times. I've heard the the, um, the phrase, "Look, um, I only got this last night." Or I just got it yesterday, yeah, yeah. Um, and sort of not being fully prepared. So um, it so is yeah. really hard. It is hard because often you will have got it last night, or you will have got it in the morning. But just there's, there, you know, there's never nobody is ever going to give you the that margin of they're not going to give it a who when, when you got it. Nobody, yeah. ca nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's basically when you get into the room, it's like you have to deliver the goods, and yeah. nobody's really interested. No, in no, the excuses no, no, nobody cares. Yeah. Um, Once you've kind of came through that process, you went through the the audition uh, process and into rehearsal. How do you prepare to make that transition from rehearsal to performance? And I guess, like like you've said, in TV these days, there's less. Um, preparation or rehearsal preparation, but I guess in, in theatre there might be uh, more of that mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. So how, how would you prepare for that transition? It is that thing, I'm always shocked that I think I really know something. If, if it's TV, certainly, I think, well, I really know that inside out. I would, ne I would hate to turn up on set and not know my lines and not know where I'm doing. There's too much going on. There's, you know, time is money. I don't want to feel like I'm holding things up or yeah. So as I said, be really, really prepared. But also it's that thing of, you'll be amazed how unprepared, you, you know, it, if you need, if the character is stuck, really go through it, really speak it out loud, really feel on your feet where you are, if you're moving around, because you can know something and then suddenly they're saying, all right, can, I, can you walk up there, walk up there, put that on the table, then get on the chair, then I want you to walk over there and you'll be like, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, I know the lines, but then once you're doing so, yeah. really kind of like walk around with it, um, you know, go around, really speak it out, really know where you are on your feet with stuff. Yeah. And the same in in, in theatre, you know, the, the rehearsal process yeah. is completely different for theatre. So you're doing that all the time in a rehearsal, yeah. room, aren't you? Every moment is sort of marked out and rehearsed, and and you're on your feet all the time. So, so that's what I would say if you're doing television, take that model and sort of put that into TV. Don't just presume that you know your lines so you'll know, because there's so much going on. Um, yeah. You've got to really know it in your body. Yeah, that's interesting that you bring that up because getting the body involved in the whole process is really important too. And, um, but it's interesting what you're saying about um, TV because there's less preparation. So I guess a lot of this is done on your own. So yeah, completely, yes, yes. Yeah. Tell us about your big break. My big break? Well, honestly, television was very, I mean, I feel like such a granny now. It's so different now. <laughs> but we, as I said, when, we, when I was at drama school, you had to get your equity card, um, and you, or you couldn't work. Yeah. And you couldn't work without a card, so it was that catch-22 situation. So the first 10 years of my career really was theatre, rep yeah. theatre, the national Glasgow sits. Ten years of theatre, and then and then and then sporadically, the the, the jobs then that would keep actors in what, with a bill, casualty, 
whatever the big shows were then Poirot in between between the lines yeah. whatever big shows you guessed in those but then I suppose my first um, uh, big TV job or the one that was I mean it that's the other thing. The one I suppose when pe when people ask you what was your big break, they mean what, which is the one that which is the most commercially viable. <laughs> 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 when does it matter to people? And that was Cold Feet. So really. did that really change that? Because uh, I, I think it, there must be a, a bit of a shock as well when you go into a show that that's so big and so. But it wasn't, you see, because that's the other thing. Just remember that it's all about people's perspective of you. Well, it was a, it was a pilot. There were five of us, one or two of people were known. Um, it was a pilot in Manchester that we shot. It was a really gorgeous, a brilliant script, brilliant characters. The guy who directed it was an editor. We all knew that it was special, but as far as we were aware at the time, that was it, and then that would be canned, and then that would be a job, and then that would be gone. Mm -hmm. They didn't even, it got entered, somebody entered it to the Golden Rose of Montreux Award in Canada. Nobody even pitched up because they thought, oh, that old pilot from Granada in Manchester, and they won, and it went from there. So then there was series one, and then you think, oh, is it going to go again? Is it going to go again? Series two, oh, yeah, good, good, is it going to... And, and you're just grafting, really. You're doing mm. the work. Mm. And, it's, and it's only in hindsight that, you know, because you're, you're there, and you're just doing the work from, mm. the, from the ground up, from the beginnings. It's not kind of, wow, I'm suddenly... Yeah. That one with the blonde hair from that big show. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. It's, like a, it's, yeah. it's different when you're inside it. I guess, all, it and, is, because yeah. you're. And also, you know, people don't see what happens when you're not at work or mm. what, what's gone into that process or what's going on behind the scenes. You know, mm. you're just um, doing. You're, you're in the moment doing that job. Yeah, and then definitely. the rest of it's sort of none of your business, really. <laughs> yeah. What would you say has been your most challenging role? I love a challenging role. Uh, I, I, but I, personally, I think one of them was recently, uh, not that recently, a two-parter I did, three-parter, I can't remember if it was two or three-parter, but it was called The Mother's Son, and it yes. was about a boy who had committed a murder, and I have a son. So it was kind of like needing to do the work, but sort of having to detach from it. Mm. And because of the way I work, of really, I found that quite difficult and sort of to leave it behind I guess yeah, as well and switch yes, off from it yes 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 and and cuz cuz also you're not when you're filming you know it's not an hour or however long the program turns out to be 2 hours that's sort of a month of sitting in my son's murdered somebody sort of thing yeah yeah it's quite it's, yeah, yeah it's, it's quite intense yeah, yeah. So, uh, Hermione, what, what advice would you give to um, actors that are coming into the profession today? I would say, do not be discouraged. It is, be kind to yourself. Treat what you do with respect. Treat everybody around you with respect. Um, it's, it's it is a brutal industry. It's mm. unkind, don't take it personally. It's got nothing to do with you. You're only ever of interest to some. It sounds really hard, but it's true. You're only ever inter of interest to somebody if there's something in it for them. <laughs> uh, and and the re it's, got, it's nothing personal. If they want you for something, they'll say hello. If they don't, they will. They won't turn a, you know, yeah. a hair. And and don't make. Don't make, being an actor. Where you put your esteem, where your value is, where because it will hurt mm. who you are work on yourself work on who you are being aware being self-aware being aware of other people who they are and because that is where that is where you will learn how to to, to deliver a performance well i believe mm. but um and, and and just do the work do the work be professional learn you know it's really practical be focused do your work do your job show up what people think or feel about it, it's none of your business. <laughs> because if it is your business, it will hurt. And everyone's going to have an opinion about you. Some people will like you, some people will loathe you. Mm. It's not your business. Your business is to show up and, and be the character you have been asked to be. Yeah. And do not be discouraged. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's great and you'll you know the people are wonderful you'll meet wonderful people
Yeah. But it'll hurt. It'll hurt <laughs> as well. I, I think it's that idea as well is that because uh, to a large extent we are our work. Yeah. You know, we are presenting yeah. ourselves as part of the work yeah. and it's, it's making that detachment away oh. from self-worth of yeah. who you are as an individual yeah. and the work. Yeah. So. Yeah. And if you really care about it, if you really care about it, you know, as I, I know I do, it's literally, it's like a, it's a spirit, it's a relate, it's, it, it, my work has had more of me than anything else, really. Mm. And, um, and when you really, really care, and then someone can just brush it off with a, that was shit, or, you know, and, you know, it, you've got to put, put, have good people around you. Great. Well, um, thank you very much, Hermione. That was thank great. Thank you very much great for having me. So thank, thank you very you much for Brian. coming along. So I think we should um, thank Go and do some acting. <laughs> <laughs>